I'm giving y'all a classic. They're gonna talk about this one for years and years. I only do this for certain people. It's called GQ. Hey, yo, check this out. This is DJ Khaled. This is my life in sneakers. Another one. I mean, I've always loved sneakers. I just remember as a kid, I would beg my mother and father to get me some Jordans. I love basketball. I love Michael Jordan. Just watching the game and wanting to be in the game. The excitement and to see Michael Jordan wear the Jordans and slam dunking and being my favorite player. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to wear the sneakers. It's crazy. I was going through some throwbacks when I was a kid and I see me wearing, you know, the ones and the breads and my closet, I would never throw my sneakers away. And I didn't realize I was a collector as a kid. I just wanted them and I would never want to give them away. I just, I would clean them so much when I beat them up and I just loved sneakers. I basically lived in the mall because my mom and dad used to own suit stores, clothing stores. You know, my mom and dad would take me to work. So I'd be in the mall. So I would always go to Foot Locker and Champs. And the funny thing is that I used to work for Champs. You know, when the sneakers came in, I would buy them, but I used to sell mixtapes. People used to come in the store and I would sell sneakers, but I would put a mixtape in the sneaker when they go ring up. I was always in the mix when shoes came out. So I was right there. It's crazy how it's evolved. You know what I'm saying? Because back then you could go in the store and get them. And not saying you can't get them now, but now it's like a shoe come out. It's a line around the building. It's a concert. Yep. It's an event. And it just shows you the, the evolution of not just Michael Jordan as the player, but just the lifestyle that he brought to us and how we all connect to it. Hip hop is a big part of sneakers and we have to credit hip hop as well for taking it to the next level. Vinyl and sneakers was my thing and still my thing. So the connection was always there. Hip hop, sneakers, lifestyle, my idols from Michael Jordan to Jay-Z and other great rappers was wearing Michael Jordan shoes. That's what it's about being timeless. It's, it's just like when I make a record, I wanna make a record that sounds great today, but I wanna make a record that's gonna play forever. And that's something that Jordan did with his sneakers. You know what I mean? He put some sneakers out, but they're from the beginning of his career to now, they're timeless. You can't be big time unless you're big time. You know what I mean? You can't be big time if you don't move big time. And I'm big time. I'm living proof of you can make it happen. Be relentless. You know what I'm saying? Be great. Don't stop. And, and keep going. That's why I named my sneaker Keep Going. It just, it just connects and it fits right. Why don't you walk us through your top five sneakers now? I mean, I mean, that, you know, when you say top five sneakers, that sounds average to me. Cause I got too much greatness to just be talking about five. How about we talk about stuff that you don't have and stuff that I might have and stuff that... Right, let, 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 let me take you to my, my, my world. All right, so check this out. You know, everybody be wanting to show their sneaker room. You know, I did that. We trendsetters. <laughs> I been did that. And loved everybody that's doing it because that's what it's about. Let's inspire each other. But I wanted to go in my backyard because <laughs> the weather's beautiful. They ain't believe in us. Michael Jordan did. <laughs> I named my own shoes. I love these because, you know, I've been in this meeting, but these shoes was for a meeting that never happened. So I'm gonna call it the meeting that never happened. I got them though. Why have one when you can have three? <laughs> one. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Call me MJ. Get a close up of this. MJ signature, MJ wore these. He did 38 points that night in these. I usually don't like to pull this one out because it's gonna be a lot of how to cow get it and I wanna keep my relationship, how can I say, my face clean, but I do have it. This is GQ, so MJ signature, MJ wore these. This is what you call historic. I love these. I call these all my favorite colors. Yo, Mose, grab me the duffel. I call these, <laughs> what a great color. <laughs> what a great color. Yeah, you know the Travis's, you know that. Not only am I a fan of Kaz's um, sneakers, I love his art, but I made sure I got everyone that he puts out 
I mean, everybody wants to know how much my sneakers are worth. This is just like the corner of my closet on everything I love. I own three warehouses and three houses with sneakers and three warehouses with sneakers. I don't lie, I don't make things up. I'm just telling you the truth. Do you wanna know the worth? You can't put money or a number amount on these things. You know why? Because it means something to me personally. I don't sell my sneakers. I might trade, and I know other people might have something I want, or I might have something they want. It's, it's super dope that we can get on the phone and just catch a vibe and talk about sneakers and trade and have fun with it. That's what it's about. So everybody knows me in threes and fours and what, man, all the Jordans are my favorite. But these are the Russ Westbrooks. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I'm not supposed to have these, but I found a way to get them. So I call these, I'm not supposed to have these. I love the Dior's. Let me tell you why I love the Dior's. Because I have one pair, I have another pair, and I have another pair somewhere upstairs too. I end up getting three. They told me these are hard to get, so I went and got three. I call them now. They told me it was hard to get, so I went and got three. You see where I'm going with this? My sneakers are named different. They mean something different than me. So it couldn't mean the same thing that they mean to me because each sneaker is a personal thing in my life. It might have been a cover shoot, it might have been a video I wore, it might have been something I went through in that, that certain time in my life. So my collection is personal to me. You know, they be hating, and when they hate, that's a whole nother category for the haters. It's called, they ain't believe in us. God did. There's a lot of reasons why I love the threes. Look at these Kobe threes. Not only is the threes my favorite, it's a lot of people's favorite. And it goes back to why I love the breads, the fours. You know, Jordan wore socks a certain way with the threes and the fours. I mean, if you think about the legacy of the shoe and what the shoe has been through, that's the definition of timeless. I got these as a gift. These are samples. Have y'all seen this anywhere? I've never seen it. There are samples, but guess what? I call it, I've never seen it nowhere. Thank you for the gift. It's so many, man. I got to shout out to Soulfly because you know I got to represent home team. Look at these, the UM covers. Let me say, let me show you something about these. Look at the leather. Come, come close. That's a different type of leather. I call these Home Team Love 305. These are Macklemore's, right? This is what you call them, right? I call them, I love the color. That's what I call it. <laughs> I love the color. <laughs> um, what y'all call these the Splatters, OVO, Drakes. I call these, they ain't believe in me. They ain't believe in us. Drake did. <laughs> they call these Motorsport 5s. I changed the name. I call them, they're mine. They call these the Trophy Rooms, right? Shout out to Trophy Room. You see, the Trophy Room love. I call them MJ DNA. <laughs> it's called family. <laughs> Don't ever play yourself. Trophy Room salute. Don't stop, keep going. These are the ducks. I got these as a gift. Let me tell you a story about these. They're both left side of the feet. I don't have the right side. That's how rare they are. They gave me two lefts. I call these Jamaica, <laughs> Kingston. I wore these in um, the Holy Mountain video. I haven't wore these yet. Shout out to the Ducks. They always show me love. Shout out my brother Nipsey Hussle, the great Nipsey Hussle. Look at this. This is so classic, so clean. Shout out to the whole marathon team. Shout out to Nip. Look at that. And they threes too. So these right here, look at these fours. Interscope fours. In the music business, shout out to Universal Records, uh, Interscope. I call this, I don't know the full story behind this, but I got them. I'm gonna keep the name of these. You know I love naming my sneakers, but this name for these sneakers is proper. Some things you just don't change. I call them undefeated. <laughs> I can relate to that. Undefeated. <laughs> we forever, we timeless. Keep going. So these right here, they call the fragments, right? You know what I really call these? I call it the stamp of approval. Cause you know, you might have these and you think, you know, it's so funny. I seen the other day somebody had these and they're like, yo, I got the theories, you know what I'm saying? But it had no stamp. It's a big difference. It's called stamp of approval. I got love for everybody. I support all Team Jordan. I support all my brothers and sisters and my brother Jay Balvin, he gift me these. I call these, get ready for his new release. This is old release. Get ready for his new release. That's what I call them. You know, you gotta have something to get ready for, right? Get ready for his new release. Hey, yo, Balvin, you see what I just said, right? They out of here now. So they call these the soul. Come, look at these. Look at these. I changed the name. You know I love threes. I call them We Global. <laughs> I call them We Global. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> I'm all over the world with this. Bring in more duffel bags. Thank you, my brother. Come get a close up. 
I call these Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. I know y'all call them the unions. I know. I call them Los Angeles. Yeah, I got the orange ones there too. Don't ever play yourself. I got them all and I love them all. First of all, I want to say God bless and big up the great Virgil. Long live Virgil. Speaking of Virgil, let me show you how I do it. Come in, because it's a lot. Look at this. It's, I'm directing you. This GQ. We do shit different over here, all right? All that, trying to be cool and all that. You hear the background noise? It's called <laughs> real life. <laughs> show them all. See all these right here that's never been worn and all these that's never been worn? I call them, I haven't had time to wear them yet. Show them all. <laughs> call them, I show them all and I haven't had time to wear them yet. I know, y'all think I'm crazy. Nah, I'm Khaled. I'm pure. You know what I mean? When you, yeah. Biggest in all categories. I'm showing you all this, but let's keep going. Matter of fact, let me show you. Keep going. This is what it's all about. This is the most important segment right here. It always got to go back to the journey. Look how it started. I remember getting my first Jordan gifted to me and they just put the We The Best patch on there and it has my name right here, look. This is when the meeting officially started. Of course, I was in the meeting since I was a kid, but when I got these, the meeting started. And then these came. Then these came. Then these came. These right here are so special. I call these the Keep Going. We the best Cali Jordans. This leather had to go through so many approvals. There's only one person that could sign off on this leather and that was Michael Jordan. Because it's the most expensive leather and that means you have to go over budget making the shoe. And MJ signed off for me. When you get your hands on this and you feel this leather and put it on, you're gonna understand what I'm saying. Keep going. I wanna big up the entire team, the we the best team and the Jordan team. Cause we all got together and we just, as a team effort, we just sat down and really talked about what keep going means. And Michael Jordan is the definition of keep going. That's why I relate so much of him being my idol. Cause I've never seen him stop. He's not stopping now. He keeps going and going and keep winning and keep, you know, he's, he's timeless. I have a rule where we the best. Everybody got to perform at a high level, not just me. And that's what keep going is about. It's about performing at a high level and not stopping and not giving up and keep going and keep winning. This is my brother. You know say everybody, everybody heard of Reggie Saunders and my, a lot of people know Reggie Saunders. You know, they keep calling me like, yo Khaled, give me Reggie Saunders contact. I'm like, yo, I don't know Reggie Saunders, but I know him. You know what I'm saying? Because you got a hard job. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the one who made this happen for me. Him and MJ, they believed in me. I used to be on Reggie, like calling him, you know, since a kid I've been, you know, collecting sneakers and, and through my career I've been grinding and grinding. And my loyalty to Jordan and Reggie is on another level. And um, I'll never forget when MJ told Reg, whatever he wants, green light it. You know what I'm saying? I've been Team Jordan, but I was officially Team Jordan when he told Reggie, green light it. So that's when I got my ring. And that's what it's about. And I want the young world to know that hard work pays off. If you keep working hard, be relentless, be great, be grateful. You know what I'm saying? You know, be confident. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan's my idol for a reason. It's all paying off now. Not only my team Jordan, I got a ring. You know what I'm saying? These are my rings. And we just getting started too. And what we saw was the positivity. He's the same person every single day. He's the keep going guy. He's the positive guy. He loves Jordan brand. That right there, he was authentic, uncompromised. He earned his spot, very aspirational. Thank you. That's just what we love about Cali. He's coming to you. How he comes to you all Pure. on Instagram is how he's coming to me every single day. Pure. What's next for We The Best, for Jordan brand, for well, college? Well, the goal is, because um, you know, you got to have a goal and you have to, you know, one thing, we, we, we made it to the championship and we got a ring. We got a few rings now. Now, consistency is key. Team Jordan is part of my life. It's part of, part of my legacy, it's part of my DNA. We're forever. Right now, Jordan can say, hey, no more Jordans for Cali. Oh well, I'm gonna keep wearing them. That's what's so beautiful about loving something and being loyal to something. You know what I mean? Sure. Keep going. Keep going. Keep um, going. Bless up, I wanna thank GQ for coming to my house my backyard and just vibing with me, having fun. 
Um, shout out to all the sneakerheads worldwide. More importantly, shout out to all the fans out there that support brothers like me. I want to thank you for supporting me and thank you, GQ, for giving me your outlet to talk to my fans and, and having fun with the people. Enjoy this My Life in Sneakers, and I hope you get motivated and inspired by this, and hopefully you could be here to show My Life in Sneakers and do the same thing I did. Love.